visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked, but now you find yourself back amidst the stones of Candlekeep. Your former home looms before you, but the gate is closed and barred. Over the walls there is a candle in your old room, but as the light goes out, the brick surrounding the window closes together. The very walls conspire to keep you at bay. A familiar voice startles you. Though it is calm and caring, you cannot go back this way, child. You must go on. Gorion forms before you. Though his image should be comforting, it seems but a shade of his living self. He is dead in your dreams, as in life. The phantom of your foster father gestures toward the blackness of the wood, as though it should be inviting. Perhaps it is, in a way, but the traveling will be hard. As you think this, a smooth and obvious path becomes clear out of the corner of your eye. It seems meant for you, pulls at your very being, and promises to quickly lead you away from the life you once led. Perhaps this would be for the best, but it is a bit too convenient for your liking. You do not wish to dwell upon the loss you have endured, but neither should it be forgotten. Gorion smiles and fades away. The pull becomes a push, but you turn away, steadfast in your new direction. The way is not quite as clear, but it is sure to be interesting nonetheless. A whisper follows as you stride away. You don't look back. Okay. Looks like the talking went faster than the other. Than the text itself. Anyways, welcome back, folks, to another episode of Baldur's Gate. I rested in... Uh, went into the dream state there. Um, what happens is, throughout the game, you start getting special abilities. Now, ba it's based on your reputation. Now, if I had had a lower than 10 reputation, I would have got a drain spell or or what have you. Honestly, I'm not too upset about getting Cure, cure Light Wounds as an ability. Uh, we could certainly use the extra one at this point. So, but yeah, you have to have under 10 reputation to get the actual evil... Uh, abilities. It's one thing I'm not going to worry about too much here. So I'd rather get better prices in the shop for good stuff. Alright, so this video we're going to head to the temple area. I guess I could have, should have memorized some identifies, but we'll go ahead and take care of that later. that to our cleric. I go where I please. I think after this video I'll record the library video where the entire half hour will be me reading different lore from the books there in the library uh, I'm not it's not gonna have any adventuring or any quests or anything but purely just reading through the books so it's completely 100% skippable I'm just gonna do that for people that want to see this game in its entirety and would not rather have the books read to them as opposed to reading them themselves I'd be much preferring the cover of night or this bl Mainly here to seek the temple and give this holy symbol that we got from Basilis up. We might actually leave this for later because um, there are vampiric wolves that walk around here. And uh, you gotta have magical weapons to hit them, so. We need Duck Lug Lug a plus one two handed sword. If you have your pickpocket up, you can also pickpocket this guy and his uh, sirens. He'll have pearls. This guy will have some potions you can steal. I go where I please. Welcome. The traveling adventurer is never turned away from a house of Lothander. By the morning, Lord, I see that you have the holy symbol of Basilus 
It must have been a difficult battle to take down such a powerful man. Yours is a service that will not soon be forgotten. It is a pleasure to give you the full reward for which you have worked. All right, so we get 5,000 gold and 1,000 XP. We'll take that. I go... I go where I please. Again, for now, we're going to leave this area. We'll be back when we get some more magical weapons. Uh, or at least a magical weapon for Lug Lug. A few other areas I want to explore first. Zero hours to get here, okay. I go where I please. And yet it takes a full day to get to the west from here. What if I just leg it? I'm trying to keep some daylight. That's 7,000 gold now. That was quite a hefty reward. I like it. Another one of Ron Stock's two handed swords broke. He is fantabulous at breaking swords. I go where I please. Luckily, I picked up another one. Still takes 24 hours to get there. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. And we got waylaid here. I will listen for now. Jacques. May darkness prevail. Go suck your you blood. This oh, will not be a quick death. Again you disturb me. Got a level 2 spell for Ronstock about glitter dust. Of course, a random encounter. You're going to come across these from time to time. A good way to get some extra XP. Get some extra money. Hmm. A bold choice. Sometimes a potion is good. What need you sleep? Lightly. of insight. So that's wisdom to 18. I usually sell those. Peter, it shall be even bloodier than you hoped. Of course, now it's freaking dark again. It shall be oh, yes, even it's day. bloodier Sweet. than you hoped. Okay, from here we're going to travel south. This is what I call basilisk area. Where we thwarted the evil necromancer. Or evil priest, whatever the hell he is. Uh, uh, this guy doesn't look friendly. Mm. Half ogre. Zuck zuck! Hey, it's Lug Lug from another game! I go where I please! Go suck your... <laughs> I will listen 
Oh, you got to cut the shards there. Lug Lug did 16, Dora did 13. That's all she wrote. Monteron, you gotta level up. That's his fighter level. So he should get at least 5 hit points. Alright, and now he got his plus 1 for his constitution. Yeah, you only get your constitution bonus for your fighter level if you're a fighter thief. So that's what that's what happened earlier. That's what confused me. So he's at 18 now. Level 2 fighter, level 2 thief. Everyone's starting to mature a bit to where they can survive battles. We have Dorn at 17 hit points, level 2. Look, look at 45 hit points, level 3. Uh, Dorn is leveling really soon. So that's good. He should get his full uh, 10 hit points to bring him to 27. He doesn't get a hit point adjustment because his constitution is too low. Monteron just leveled. Look, look, he's got a bit. He's got a hit. Our cleric is level 3. She's got a couple thousand. Of course, Ronstock does. Edwin should be... Yeah, all right. So very shortly, Edwin and Dorn will be leveling. It's exciting. Interact. Mm. I'm so excited! The house looks abandoned. Now those half orgers I killed, I believe those are the ones that, uh, was Jordan wanted us to kill from Burger uh, Burgost? I probably should have searched them. Speak and be gone. There's a level for Edwin. Quick death. Might sink may darkness prevail. This what need ye get? Run! And there's Dorn's level. Speak and be gone. Friend spell, we'll go ahead and take that. Alright, well. Can't put any more into two handed. Um, let's see. We can go with other style. We can also go with two weapon style. If we wanted to two weapon him eventually. Let's go ahead for now. We'll put the one into longsword. We may want to do a sword and shield style with um, him to take advantage of the magical shields and magical longswords in the game. Or even bastard sword. But I want to do bastard sword with... I do bastard sword with uh, lug lug. I might want to do Axe, too. Oh, the decisions. Alright, he's at 27 hit points now. He did get his full 10. Obviously, you just get max hit points per level here. Edwin has a pretty good constitution. He's going to get plus 2, so he's going to go to 12. And he's also going to be able to memorize level 2 spells. I'll give him a chill touch. He needs some more damn spells too. Uh, the spell I got for Ronstock is Glitter Dust. Creates a cloud of glittering gold particles. All enemies in the area must roll saving throw over spell or be blinded, which will give a minus four penalty to attack saving throws and armor class for four rounds. In addition, all enemies who fail their saving are covered by the dust, which cannot be removed and continues to sparkle until it fades, thus revealing invisible creatures. 
fades after four rounds. So it's really the only level two spell I saw at the time. I went ahead and grabbed it. Mm. give you a drain spell. It's a little bit more useful, I Be personally direct. think, over chill touch. Try to keep I don't up. like touch spells uh, with my weak mages. This doesn't seem like good practice. Oh shit, it's a cave bear. Nah. I'm hoping she'll stun something for once. I will listen for now. There's a this rage that's dangerous though. So good. Irritating. Edwin's starting a bitch. We better uh, find his girl that he wants killed and kill her. Speak and be gone. Be direct. Hmm. Stop where you are. If you throw down your weapons and cooperate, then no one will be hurt. If you don't, then you will die. A very simple decision. We surrender to no one. Draw steel. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Now you die. Forward, march. Speak and be gone. Jean Calais? Sleep, bitch. This will not be a quick death. Again, you disturb me. Also. Got some crazy confusion spell going on here. Jacques, call us now. Spells are so Peter fucking annoying right. for this exact reason.
That fear spell is just a pain in the ass. Spade shall be even bloodier than you hoped. I will listen for now. The magical robes that do nothing, but they cover you. Those are probably the arch magi robes or magi robes that give bonuses to saving throws. Get your ass over here, Ron Stock. Yeah, thanks. Resist fear. Yeah, that's a good spell to have. Be direct. Hmm. goody goodies make me sick. To try to keep up. I must rest. Rest is for the week. I'll not keep this pace without the rest soon. And the rivers run red! Holy the Jesus. This better be his folk at me. What is it now? Night signal Martha. If and I'm not around to help, our next assailants may be just be lived. He spoke at me. I'll do your toil. <laughs> Again you disturb I direct him for now. Uh, I think there's supposed to be some help here. You there! Will you help a stranger in need? I am beset by Nars. Fear not, we will not stand aside while another is in peril. The fight is joined. I will welcome you. Hey, tiresome beast, these gnaws are. I'll be glad to be done with him. Good, come and help. I go where I please. Alright, let's kill Dritzt. Now there is a way to attack him. There's all kinds of ways if you look up to uh, fight Dritzt. Peter wrecked. Let me show you the way the best way to not fight Dritz. That's why you don't fight Dritz. Outright. Especially at this level, he'll cut you down in no time. <laughs> Strange, I do not feel so well. All right, now let's see if we can beat him cheaply. I go where I please. Night singer, give me power. Night singer, you are so give me irritating. power. This better be good. We shall hold here. You look tired. Martha. Alright, so I played around with it a little bit. Not gonna happen. You can uh, trick Dritz into coming over here. I was gonna use a potion of invisibility. Uh, which automatically loses aggro off her. But the pathing is so big... Uh, that Dritz will actually walk around this entire lake, come down this stone pathway, and kill your party anyways. I go uh, where I can't actually go into the programming of the game and reduce the pathing of the characters. 
I'm not gonna do that. Um, Drift does have some cool shit, obviously. Um, but uh, it's not worth the hassle for me. I'm sure some of you out there have taken the time to do it. I'm not going to. I might come back and see if he's here later when I'm higher level and try to kill him then. Need something strange. Like before the end of the game. Please keep your voice down, will you? It's hard enough getting the hang of this fish wrangling business without you scaring them all away. Fish wrangling? I take it you've never done this before. Nay, I have not. Used to be a miner, I did. I've sunk to this to feed my family. Not that it's a bad way to make a living, mind you. I just prefer, prefer having a good solid pick in my hands and sweating while I work. There's too much standing about waiting for the fish to bite. Ah oh, well, we do what we must. I go where I please, so it seems. Night singer, call us nah. I go where I please. Hmm. A bold spake it shall be, even bloodier than I we shall hold here. You look tired. Spake it shall be, even bloodier than you hold. I, I did give it a valiant effort, though. And the rivers run red. This oh, will not be death. Not keep this Speak pace and the rest try soon. to keep up. Jalka, now no. If I'm not allowed to sleep, our next assailants may just live. The hell she go? Call us now. All right, all the way around. Don't bother taking the shortcut Speak or anything. and be it shall be even bloodier than you hoped. Jalka, call us now. I really need to rest. Many magic things we gotta identify here. One, two, three. Alright. I find sleep invaluable. Speak and be gone. Fork over your magic shit so Ronstock can identify it. Ah, fire resistance. Okay. Ashidina! Lady Ashidina was a remarkable strategist who owned her skills against the Orc armies in the year of the Black Horde. She met Durgat Wiltoon, the warrior that wielded this weapon, when he foiled an ambush led by the great Orc of Allstock, and soon after made him her field captain. After serving at each other's side for the entirety of the war, they fell in love and eventually married. Historians report that Durgat named his warhammer after his bride to remind himself of the love he fought to protect. What Lady Ashadina thought of this is unknown. Nice. It's a plus two warhammer, 24 plus three, plus one electrical damage. Try that out for a while. The Whistling Sword, plus two. Amidst the plains of the Eastern Shah, there lived a small human blacksmith who nearly his dwarven height did not do his soul justice. Though a skilled weaponsmith, his true gift was his ability to whistle a heartfelt song that could cause a grown man to cry like a newborn. Only a reclusive maid shared and enjoyed time with the diminutive man. However, as others could only see a small size as a source of amusement, deaf to the smith's song become of their own prejudice, their ridicule slowly grew into a cruel torment which eventually persuaded the light-hearted man to leave his home forever. Before he left, he forged his weapon as a gift for his one friend, who also enchanted it during the making. Thus the blade sweetly whistles to its wielder when unsheathed. It was not long after that the mage also deserted the small town in disgust, taking the sword with him on his journeys. Just a plus two short sword. Plus 
plus the magical weapons are always good to have. Direct. Hmm. Jalcales? Speak. Hmm. Uh, some more half ogres. That's an ogre berserker. New two handed sword for Lug Lug! Bloodier than you hoped. Starting to rain, fantastic. The hell is that then? Flame. Lug Lug need two handed swords. You keep breaking them. Looks like he broke another one. Get Lug Lug all nice and healed up. I will listen for now. Mm. It's a crazy dog! Be a quick death. Space crazy shall dead be dog. Even bloodier than you hoped. Finish up this map for the video. Oh wow, let's not uh, forget to search all the gnolls here. That'd be pretty stupid. All this free shit. Magic arrow, one magic arrow, that's great. I'm damn near useless. Think we can do without all the Hellbergs. Maybe Driss will stick around long enough for us to come back and kill him. Why does a chair have arms and legs like a man, but cannot walk or hold things? Uh, it holds my ass when I'm sitting on it. Speak and be gone. When the Baldur's Gate uh, 2 Enhanced Edition is released, I'll be importing Ronstock and Lug Lug into it. Doing yet again another LP of it, Evil, with both my characters from this game. Hopefully, there's no complications. Your worthless life end here. Uh, sure, was it a ghast? Yes, another ghast. Peter, it shall be even bloodier than you hoped. Luckily, we cut it down quick enough. Leave no stone unturned. Sure, 
there's many of you that are as excited about the release of the Hobbit movie coming out uh, in a couple weeks or less than a couple weeks. I'll try to go see it the Saturday of its release. Looking forward to it. It's probably the first fantasy novel I ever read. I've read it a few times. And I'm not much for reading books more than once. Except R.A. Salvatore. Probably reread uh, the Legacy and Icewind Dale trilogy. Legacy of the Drow trilogy more than any other set of series out there. They're just that damn good. If you haven't picked up some R.A. Salvatore, what the fuck are you waiting for? I feel like this is it. Alright folks, well that wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned for more Baldur's Gate soon to come.